here in, in South Sudan, what is, what is happening now is it's in civil war and the, the systems have broken down, so there's not enough resources to care for the many people who are victims of violence. Come now, like no. now, now. Tell him no it's way. urgent. No way. If we don't operate him, he's not gonna survive. A patient which you operate on becomes very close to you. When did this happen? Yesterday. To see how the patient will progress, what will be the outcome. That's what keeps you wanting to, to do it more and be there. Sometimes when I think back, I, I don't realize actually this is what has been my path. I grew up in Tanzania, in, around Lake Victoria, the first born among nine. In a stable situation where I worked before, you, you have access to more uh, tools. But this is very different from right here, where most of the time the only thing you have is your clinical acumen and nothing else. And you do cuff ups, big cuff ups, so that the air comes out. Okay? That's very important. So we'll go and do the two cases and then come back and do a big round. Okay, sorry.